Right, uh, so today we're looking at uh, 4.2 factorials and permutations, continuing our conversation with permutations, trying to make life exciting. Right, so the first example we'll look at is um, we're going to pick the class counts, council or SAC, and we need four positions filled, so president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. So how many ways can we uh, choose these from, from a group? So if we only have two students, obviously we can only pick the president and vice president, and there's only really two ways we can do that. Uh, three students, we can fill in three positions. So let's think about it. So we can have pres president, vice president, secretary, uh, vice president, president, secretary, uh, secretary, president, vice president. So it comes out to be about six different ways. And we can continue looking at if you want to, you can take a minute and just think about how many different ways for each of the students. I'll let you do that on your own. Right. Um, so this chapter section is going to look at factorials and permutations. Um, so we use these techniques to help us again with our counting. And also um, when we do probability, um, these ideas will come in handy for calculating large numbers again. So what is a factorial? So the factorial is made up of the natural numbers. So natural numbers are the numbers that you count with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, the numbers without 0. Okay, so the factorial is defined, um, or noted, as n factorial. So n is the number, and exclamation is the notation we use to represent factorial. So what does that mean? It means um, take the first number, multiply it by the next number, which is less than that times the next number, times the next number all the way down, so we get 2 times 3, or 3 times 2 times 1. And we multiply all those, and the product is whatever n factorial is equal to. Okay, so some examples. Um, so here we have 4 factorial. So like I said, it's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Multiply those together, their product is 24. 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 720. Um, okay. Obviously, 1 factorial is just 1. And one of the strange things, which we won't really prove, but if you want to, you can do a little research and prove for yourself, is that 0 factorial is equal to 1. We use this, um, and later on, we have to use this, otherwise our formulas won't work. Um, so it's just kind of a given. So sometimes we have to subtract our factorials. Okay, so we have 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial. So we can look at expanding them out. So we have 8 times 7 times 6 all the way down to times 1. Divided by 6 times 5 times 4 all the way down to 1. Now, we could calculate both of these products and then divide, which would make it easy. Or we can also look at what's similar and cross it out. So we cross out the 6 to 1, put the 6 to 1 on the numerator. So we're left with 8 times 7, which is pretty easy to calculate, which is 56. So with the small numbers, it's a little bit why are we doing this. But it makes more sense when we start looking at larger numbers. So if we consider the 75 factorial over 71 factorial, then we have you know, a lot of numbers to write out. So instead of doing all that, we can just cancel it, make it simple. We cancel out the numerator. We have 75 times 74 times 73 times 72. It's a little bit easier to type into our calculator. It turns out to be 1,944,720. Like I said, big numbers. Um, sometimes you also have to divide by a product. So in this case, 17 factorial divided by 15 factorial times 2 factorial. Again, we can do our cancellation, so we end up with 17 times 16 divided by 2, which works out to be 136. Okay, so on your calculator, um, some calculators can handle larger factorials than others, so just be um, kind of experiment with yours to figure out what the largest value is, so you just know how to use it. Okay, speaking of calculators, you might want to take a pause for a moment and look for the n factorial on your calculator. 
Um, each one is located differently on depending on which uh, manufacturer you have and which style of calculator you have. But any scientific calculator should have an end factorial button. And just to experiment, um, you can go back and make sure your error answers are correct from the last slide. And then, just so you can see what the difference is, try to calculate 12.5 factorial, see what happens, as well as 200 factorial, and see what happens. Like I said, some calculators will do big numbers, other calculators have restrictions. All right, so now we've calculated or talked about a permutation or factorial, what's a permutation? Permutation is n distinct items arranged in order with definite order. So order matters. Okay, so chapter four is all about order matters. So the total number of permutations is denoted as p n comma n or n p n. You kind of flip back and forth between the two, so we get comfortable. Okay, so p n n is n times n minus one times n minus two times da 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 times 3, times 2, times 1, or just n factorial. Okay, so how does this work? So how many ways can we arrange five people to speak at a conference? So if all five people are going to talk, then it's p5, comma 5, which is 5 factorial, which is 120 ways. We're picking six songs to play on the radio or in the morning for announcements. How many different ways can we arrange those six sums? Again, it's p6, comma 6, which is 6 factorial, which is 720 ways. Uh, n different books on a bookshelf. So again, p and n, which is n factorial. So let's look at some more concrete examples. So here we have the word diploma. Everyone's trying to get their diploma. Hopefully by the end of the year, everyone will get their diploma. How many ways can we arrange the letters in diploma? Okay, so there are seven letters, no repeated letters. So it's P7, comma 7, which is 7 factorial, which is 5,040 ways. So like I said, I'm trying to get the big numbers. So if we put some restrictions. So let's say the L must be remain in the middle. So we're just going to rearrange the other letters around it. Since L must be in the middle, we place it first, and then we arrange the remaining letters around it um, to fill in the boxes. So you can think of... When we're dealing with numbers, think of a series of boxes, and we want to fill those boxes with the numbers of letters that we have. So in this case, we have um, 1 times p6, 6, or six fact 1 times 6 factorial, which is 720 ways. Remember, the 1 represents the L. How many ways can we make the arrangements with O and I have to be, must be together? Okay, so the vowels are starting to congregate together. Um, since O and I are being arranged together, we're going to count those as one box. We're going to put those together in one box. In that box, we can arrange it two ways. We need to have OI or IO. With o, IO combination, um, there remains the six. There's going to be six letters or combinations that we're, or things we're going to rearrange. We're going to count those as one. So then it's again P66 times two, because we can have the IO or OI which is 720 times 2, which is 1,440 different arrangements. So you can see that the numbers are starting to get larger as time goes by, but we're still using our formula. So what happens if we don't have, we're not going to use all the letters? That's where we look into, um, so we have n distinct objects, and we're going to take r at a time. So we have r, r arrangements of n items. For their notation, it's pnr or npr, Okay. Here's our formula. It looks similar to the factorial page, n factorial over n minus r factorial. So here we're do, doing our division of factorials. And you might want to take a second to find the NPR button on your calculator. Again, it should be somewhere close to where your factorial button is, but you should also be aware of where it is. Again, each calculator is slightly different based on the manufacturer. Okay, so let's look at some examples. Calculate 7p3, use the formula, and then we'll verify the calculator. Okay, so here's the formula. 7p3 equals 7 factorial over 7 minus 3 factorial. I skipped a couple of steps. So if 7 minus 3 factorial is 4 factorial, 
So we're going to subtract or cancel out the 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 in the numerator and the denominator. So we're just left with 7 times 6 times 5, which works out to be 210. The calculator. Similarly, we just punch 7p3 into our calculator, and poof, 210 comes out. Okay, so calculate the number of ways of picking a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer from a selected group of 10 members. So say we have a council, and we need to make the um, administration. So the solution. Since there are four positions, we assume that they are ordered based on responsibility, president being the most responsible, treasurer having the least responsibility. Okay. Okay, thus there's 10p4, which works out the 5,040 ways to pick the four positions in a group of 10 people. Okay, how many permutations from the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? If uh, the first number has to be even, okay, so the three numbers are even, 2, th two 4, and 6. Um, so we can start by picking one of those first, so we'll fill in the first position. So we have three choices there, and then the other five remaining numbers are just p5, comma 5. So it's 3 times 5 factorial, 3 times 120, which is 360 different numbers can be arranged with the even number at the beginning. And what happens when we have even number at the beginning, odd number at the end? Um, similar to part A, we have three choices for the first digit, then we have three choices for the last digit, which is odd numbers, which are 1, 3, and 5. Um, then we can fill in the middle positions with the remaining four. So after we make our two choices, we have four, num four numbers left over. So then it's three times p comma four times three, or three times four factorial times three, nine times 24, which is 216 different ways. And last part is begins with an odd number and ends with an odd number. Okay, so similarly to the questions above, we have fill in the first position, which had three choices, in the last position, we have two choices. Remaining values fill in the middle. So you have 3 times uh, 4p4 times 2, which is 3 times 4 factorial times 2, which is 6 times 24, or 144 numbers can be created. And then, so your assignment for tonight, so Mark, is on page 239, questions 1 to 5, and then we'll work on that ideas from that finish up tomorrow.